It is Bucky and Brooks joining us here in the Pita Pit Studios via the K-Country Hotline. She's going to be in Cedar Falls. I know you've already got your tickets, Lainey. I bought tickets day. They opened up. It's like my favorite show on TLC. The Long Island Medium is joining us, Lainey. Teresa Caputo! Yay! Hey! Good morning, guys. This is so awesome. This is going to be a fun show. It's uh, the live experience. It's, it's the TV show, but it's a live experience. Can you talk a little bit about what the audience is going to experience when they're in the crowd seeing it live? The only thing, I'm going to tell you this, the only thing you can expect is that I'm going to show up with my hair and my nails done, great <laughs> dress, and fabulous shoes. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, it's an amazing experience. We've created such an intimate moment of the experience. It's watching Long Island Medium Live. I come out on the experience is two hours. There's no intermission. I come out on the stage. I give a little quick speech, and then spirit takes over. And I am not on that stage. Because people sometimes are intimidated by, oh, my God, there's going to be so many people. It's not up to me who gets read. It's up to spirit. So they will guide me through the theater, the arena, and wherever I need to stop and deliver a message, that's where it is. So no matter where you're seated, you have the opportunity and possibility of getting read. And the, the thing is, too, people always say, I personally might not have got read but what I experienced was absolutely life-changing. So the one thing that I want to ask you is when you walk into a room, whether you're shopping or, or whatnot, and spirit contacts you and wants you to relay a message, how is that different from like when you walk into like the Unidome, if you've got like 7,000 people there, I mean, how much do you have coming at you and how hard is it for you to concentrate or, or do they take their turns? They do take their turns because I have certain rules that they have to follow. And they know if they don't follow my rules, I send them to the back of the room. <laughs> 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 well, what happens is, is the, the thing that's, you know, look, I try to explain to people, whether there's five people in a room or 5,000, it, it doesn't matter for me. You know, I can only channel so many souls in a certain period of time. But the souls that do channel, they're delivering so many more messages to so many families at one time. And sometimes what happens is when I walk into a room, everyone starts talking to their dead relative. So that's where it becomes a little like, all right, you guys got to back off. Everyone stops talking to your dead relatives. Let me just channel the souls that need to channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that I love about the show, whether you believe in it or, or not, one of the things that is so endearing is the fact that you, you run into somebody and you could pick out something personal and just to see the relief in their eyes when you're done with them, it's, it's just heartwarming. You've said it in a nutshell because that's what it's about. This is not about me. It's not about people believing in mediums or what I do. It doesn't matter to me if people believe in what I do. That's not the point. That's not my goal. The goal is that you know that your loved ones are with you and that they haven't left you just in a different way. And look, I'm the first one to say what I do is crazy. How does someone speak to someone that has died? But all I know is that I start saying things that there's no way I would know about, and it changes somebody's life in a positive way. It's, I, they, they blow, so after all these years, after all many live shows that I do, Spirit blows me away every single time. I was curious, when you uh, started realizing you had the ability to do this uh, two-way communication, what the family thought about it and how they reacted. I know on the TV show, your dad's a little nervous and skeptical about spirits being left in his house, but yeah. uh, how has the family yeah. reacted to it? The, the one that I think had the most adapted <laughs> was my husband, Larry, because <laughs> here we were married, you know, here we are, we're together for 10 years, and all of a sudden I talk to dead people. Yeah, listen, he was, a, he was one of the biggest skeptics. He's like, yeah, okay, if you think, uh, you know, you could talk to dead people, go right ahead. And then he started coming to a lot of my restaurants, a lot of fundraisers that I would do. We would just see people that came to the house for a reading, and he'd be like, wait a minute, there's no way you would have known that. I know you. You're not that smart. <laughs> oh, the love. <laughs> yeah, that's Larry, right? Um, but, but, but he's right. I, I say it, and I don't mean to be rude. Listen, I'm dumb. I, I have no knowledge about anything. You know, and he says, I watch these people walk into my home devastated and watching them leave smiling. How do you put a price on that? You can't. No, there's not. And then, and like I said, that's the most endearing warmth 
thing about mm-hmm. the show. I mean, my husband and I argued back and forth on it because, you know, of course, he's going to be a skeptic or whatever. Sure. But he sat down and watched sure. it with you with me. And that's the conclusion he came up with. He goes, it's nice to see that she brings so much happiness and relief to people. I was the first one when I first embraced my gift. I was like, why would someone even want to go to a medium? I couldn't understand it. But what I've learned is that people, unfortunately, are left with burdens and guilt, should have, could have, would have, and only if. All of these negative emotions that we place on ourselves and beat ourselves up don't give us the ability to heal. So the experience is a healing experience. Whether you get red or not, it's healing. And you're going to laugh. You're going to cry. I can guarantee you, you're going to have a good time because we need to also have levity. You know, spirit shows that personality. It, I'm really excited because I've never been to Cedar Falls before. So this is going to be amazing. And the show is coming up. It's Thursday, April 14th, 730 at the McLeod Center on the UNI campus. Tickets are on sale now. You can get them through the Unitix box office. And we have all the details, of course, under events on our website at k985.com. Teresa, we're going to let you run because we know you're a busy gal. But thank you very much for taking the time and joining us. Thank you. And I'll see you on the 14th. Have an awesome day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.